Canaveral in the attempt to launch astronaut John Glenn into orbit around the world. Reporting to the British Broadcasting Corporation in London. The zero hour for Colonel Glenn's launch. General in Floride, where, one more time, the last minutes of the departure of the astronaut American. I'm going to count the minutes for the astronaut American John Glenn in Cape Canaveral, Florida. ロリダジョカナファゴ太空航空船ヨハンゲリンシュケットカナベラルダアメリカの宇宙飛行士ジョングレンの早期を目前に。ジェットメルクリオアンレポートドケアンボスエラウストロナルタイソコエテフレン
proving the equipment, and pushing the program to the threshold of orbital flight. And now, it's Glenn's turn. Ready for pressurization? Now to Glenn falls the challenge of man's next advance into space, for he has been chosen to cross the threshold gained by Shepard and Grissom and to orbit the world. So the countdown continues for John Glenn. And it continues beyond this room for Friendship 7. And it continues this moment around the world. I think we were all running on a high degree of adrenaline. Uh, and looking back, I don't know how physically or mentally we were able to go through those periods of time, like I said, without sleep. But it was the adrenaline and the mission and the uh, camaraderie among each other. These are John Glenn's ground-based co-pilots, men he knows well, with whom he's trained, and in whose judgment his life is entrusted this day. They are the flight controllers, and from the Mercury Control Center, within view of the launch complex, they make the decisions, issue the commands that will govern the course of the mission. To these men throughout the flight will flood the facts needed for decision. The scope of their responsibility, of the entire operation, defies comprehension. Now, this very instant, the countdown for flight continues around the world, on three continents, on islands, in ships and planes, in lands where it's summer and tomorrow is near, in lands where it's winter, and this day is just beginning. Roger, how about you recovering? Ah, the current go. Roger, recovery. Uh, Roger, CTC, Mercury Control Sirens, go. Northeast of Cape Canaveral, 1,000 miles into the Atlantic, dawn's early light spills over the British Crown Colony of Bermuda, and Station 2 in the Mercury Network proceeds with the countdown. The tracking and telemetry stations, 18 in all, form an avenue of electronic checkpoints around the world to monitor and communicate with Friendship 7 as it passes overhead. of the station, then telemetry is the ears. Each second, telemetry will hear and record nearly 2,000 items of information radioed down from Friendship 7. And in the months to come, engineers and scientists will find in telemetry records the answers needed for the bolder space explorations of the future. Displays and recorders have been calibrated. Roger, thank you. Flight, this is M&O. Go ahead, M&O. All subsystems status green. Roger, M&O. Understand all systems green. Latitude, 5 degrees north. Longitude, 10 degrees west. A spot in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Africa. And Station 3, the Rose Knot, waits under the late morning sun for John Glenn. Operating out of Trinidad, Rose Knot will communicate.